What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a open source project from a fellow iOS developer who's active on LinkedIn, James. And this particular uh, project here is for a paywall that he put together for his new app that he's working on, My Trading Journal. So we're gonna actually download it, look at it, we're gonna integrate it in our own app. This is written in Swift UI. we'll integrate it into UIKit, and we'll also extend it a little bit. So before we jump into things, drop a like down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe, comment for that YouTube algorithm. Let's go ahead and download this project here from GitHub. Now, I've already got it downloaded. What we're gonna start by doing is opening this up and taking a look at how this is actually built and what it lets us do. So it is actually built in SwiftUI. And if I go ahead and hit this uh, refresh button for a preview, we should see the view. I'm actually in the core view here, which is the paywall view. And you'll notice that it's, it's really nice, actually. So you've got a, uh, you know, infinite scroll, animation thing going on up here with the various things you get with premium you also get you know the title up there the various options here for your monthly and your yearly plan as well as your you know start free trial and restore purchase button so let's take a look at how this is built and then we'll drag this on into our application and implement it so first and foremost inside of the paywall view we essentially have put together all of the sub views so the header the carousel you know the section to uh, choose your plan the buttons so it's nice that all of this is abstracted uh, into these smaller components and we can actually string them all together now the way this actually works is if you look on the left, we've got a feature card, the feature card view, the monthly plan view. So everything is broken out uh, pretty granularly. So you can take a look at this on the right hand side. And this is just one example. Here you get the monthly plan uh, section item, which goes into the larger view. We've also got our utilities folder here for the infinite scroller, as well as the X mark button, which is obviously important to get this working. And let's jump back into the main paywall view. Let's take a look at some other setup functions in here. So if we go to the header section, you'll notice that this itself uh, returns a view. Uh, you could actually probably mark this as a view builder if you wanted to, but it's more or less a VStack uh, with some other stuff in it. We have the app name in here. So we probably want to parameterize this since obviously this will vary by app. Um, I will call out, this is not meant to be a package the way this is published, but if James is watching, you should definitely consider publishing a CocoaPod spec or a SPM uh, package for this so other people can use it easily as well. Um, so here we, we're going to have to pass something in to customize this here. Maybe we want to customize what this is. Maybe some apps want to call it gold or platinum or whatever the heck they want to call it. So we'll customize that as well. And the other important thing that we're actually missing in this view is uh, this functionality right here. So when we tap on the action button, um, we want to actually pass it back to via a delegate or a closure or something that, hey, the button was tapped. And we somehow want to get also the state of what is actually being um, tapped. So which, which plan is tapped? Is it yearly? Is it monthly? Up here, we can see we actually already have uh, a state for this, which is awesome. And if we go into this premium plan, we can see that there are, in fact, two options. There's monthly and yearly. So cool, so now that we took a brief look at this, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna actually drag all the source in here, the extension, paywall, utilities, all this good stuff into our new project that I'll create momentarily. So we'll go ahead and actually close uh, Xcode there. I'll open it up again, and we're gonna create a new app here. We are going to call this perhaps, let's call, let's make a dating app. So we're gonna say dating app, um, and we'll go ahead and stick with Swift and Storyboard, aka UI Kits. Go ahead and continue, save it wherever you'd like. I'll toss it onto my desktop. And before I full screen this, let me go ahead and let's do two things. So let me actually just run this in a simulator, get it compiling, all right, pretty fast, looking good. And then the other thing that I want to do is actually drag in the source for the paywall. So I'm gonna come up here and open up this paywall demo project. And let's see, we've got demo here, and I care about the assets. I guess we can drag in everything, perhaps, and we'll see if it yells at us, and we'll fix any errors accordingly. I'm gonna actually duplicate it so I don't break the original project here in case I need to go back to it. And I'll just call this paywall too. And let me go ahead and drag this under here into our project. It's gonna ask us if we wanna copy the items. We do want to copy them, so we will select that. And we'll come back here. And let's see, let's go ahead and compile and see how much it yells at us. All right, so we've got some issues here. 
So compile assets with non-zero execute. So let's see why assets are yelling at us. I believe it's because we have the exact same named file here. So we'll call this pay wall assets. All right, so that error went away. So the main attribute can't be applied here. We've got a uh, de app, uh, app delegate here yelling at us. And the reason for this is most likely when we dragged in uh, this paywall demo, and let me get rid of that too, we can get rid of the actual demo app here. Since we don't want another entry point, we already have our app delegate. So I'll move that to trash. We'll go ahead and compile. Still getting some errors. Let's see what's going on here. So can't still can't compile that. Let's see, we got rid of that paywall demo app. All right, so that should have gone away. Let's see what else is going on. Something is yelling at me. So here we're gonna jump into this and I believe it's because we already have an accent color and an app icon here. We'll get rid of that. And that accent color and app icon already exists in the main assets we get, which is why it's yelling. So it looks like it's compiled. Let me go ahead and give this a build and run, make sure we're not crashing for any weird reason. So cool, we're not. We've got our app actually running and let's get this implemented. So the first thing we wanna do is actually get this thing to show up and we're gonna leverage a UI hosting controller since we are in fact in Swift UI. So what I will go ahead and do here is we'll do it really simple. We're gonna say our paywall VC is going to be a UI hosting controller and we're gonna create this with a view. So we should be able to create it with a view. Let's see, this is gonna yell at me. Let me see what the initializer looks like here. We actually do need to import Swift UI if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's actually import that. Let's open up this constructor again, and then we can provide a root view. Now, I believe this was called just a paywall view, just like that. Like that, we've got our hosting controller, and we're gonna actually add this as a child controller. If you're not familiar with child controllers, I've got a separate video on it, so um, go ahead and take a look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and say add child. We'll add this. We'll tell this view controller did move to parent, which is self. And we also want to set up the view. So I am going to do that here. We'll say view, add sub view, the view of this guy. We also want to assign some constraints to it so we can actually see it. So here I'm going to go ahead and say uh, translates auto resizing masks into constraints uh, to false. And then we'll go ahead and add some constraints. So I'll just go ahead and activate these here on this guy. And we'll say top anchor is a constraint equal to view.topanchor. We're gonna have this take the entirety. We're not gonna respect the uh, safe area. We'll see what it looks like and we'll adjust as needed. All right, let's just go ahead and update these. This will be left, this will be right. And before we continue, let's give it a run and let's see if we get it. So cool, we do actually see what the uh, project included, which is the paywall view. Now let's go into the source code of the paywall view. Let's customize it a little bit because right now when I click on this, nothing happens, nothing happens. Um, and we might wanna also customize, in this case, the title, but you can obviously extend this to customize what options are shown in the tiles here as well, but let's not get too crazy. So I'm gonna jump into this paywall demo. I'm gonna get rid of demo because it's just a paywall at this point. And we'll jump into the paywall here and then there's paywall view. And the first thing we wanted to change is actually the title here. So we could individually pass in uh, strings here, but instead of doing that, perhaps we wanna pass in a view model and that'll just be simpler to encapsulate what we want to customize the view with. So here we'll do paywall view view model and we'll say title and this will perhaps be subtitle and maybe we'll want to delegate in here as well but let's ignore that momentarily and what i'll go ahead and do here is and maybe we'll make this a final class instead and we'll say our view model will be of this type and we're going to take this in like so and we'll simply assign it like so now don't forget because uh, we do in fact have some preview content down there. Let's see what this is yelling at me. It's because we needed an initializer, so I'm gonna be lazy and just change it back to a struct. Um, now don't forget, down here we do have preview content, so we do need to update it here, otherwise it will yell at you. So we'll go ahead and just do something in here. We'll say A and B. And if you go ahead and compile, you'll see it's yelling at you because we don't actually have uh, the proper constructor set up in our view controller. 
but we actually haven't updated the title here. So let's actually come down here. Let me actually collapse this left panel so we have a little bit more room. And in the text here, we're gonna use uh, view model dot title and then for this text which I'm calling subtitle we'll say view model dot subtitle we'll go ahead and compile it's still yelling at me obviously because of this over here and let's actually go ahead and create this with the appropriate view model so back in our view controller we'll say this is our view model and we're going to initialize it with the title of dating app and we'll go ahead and call this let's call this uh, gold membership Let's go ahead and give it a run and let's see if that actually customized things. And would you look at that, it actually did, which is pretty cool. So the package actually lets you, this project lets you customize it fairly easily. And one thing I really like that James actually did, which 99% of people don't do, uh, is if you jump into this paywall view, you'll see that he actually left some pretty helpful comments in various places. So for example, this right here, um, and the comments aren't just like annoying, like this is a VStack. This is an actual subst uh, substantive comment, like it actually adds some value. So you can go through here and read what these do. But before we wrap up this video, let's actually implement a delegate for this view. <coughs> Alrighty, so what I'm going to want to actually do is we're going to create a protocol. And that protocol is essentially going to uh, tell us what the user did, what they tapped on. So we're going to call this a paywall delegate. Now, if you're working entirely in Swift UI, you can just set a binding and pass that in, or even in this view model, you can have a published uh, property, assuming this is an observable object. But we're gonna use a protocol so you guys can know how to integrate this into a UI kit app. You can also use closures, I might add. So we're gonna go ahead and say in here, we're gonna say func did tap restore purchases per purchase, I guess it's singular. And then we'll also go ahead and copy and paste this and we'll say did tap uh, purchase. And this is going to be plan and plan is going to be nothing more than just the premium plan. Like so if you compile it shouldn't have any issues. Now we can choose to include this on the view model or we can include this directly via the constructor. What I'll go ahead and do is I'll include it onto the uh, view model here. So we can go ahead and say the delegate here will be this guy. And we can actually probably make it a weak var, but if you do that on a struct, you're gonna have to make it mutating. So I'm just gonna make it a constant. Just be careful about uh, memory leaks because this is going to be a strong reference. And it is in fact optional. So what I'll do down here in our preview content is we'll say nil. It'll still yell at me because I need to update it in our view controller. And here I'm gonna go ahead and say delegate will be self and will want to, of course, conform to the aforementioned delegates. Now this is yelling because we need to implement the two respective functions like so. And what I'll do down here is for the sake of this video, we'll just print out. So should restore. Now, obviously in your application, what you should do is you should either call into store kit APIs, or if you're using some type of uh, third party framework like revenue cats or conversion, you should call those respective APIs. So let's say uh, start trial with plan. And here this will be uh, the plan. We'll just interpolate it like so. And uh, yeah, we forgot to actually hook up this uh, delegate to our view. So let's jump back into here. I'll stop that, I'll close this left panel. And uh, if we come down to where the comments are for the button, see if I can find them, there we go. So here we have action button. And what I wanna get is the uh, view model.delegate and then we can say uh, purchase, let's see what it's called, tap purchase. And here we can just pass in self.selected plan. All right, like that, beautiful. Now notice this is, uh, you're just passing this directly. This is not the binding, hence no dollar there. So for those of you not familiar with Swift UI, maybe a little new, just calling that out so everyone is aware. And then here for restore purchases, very similar. We'll say view model, delegate, and start typing restore, and it'll pick up, did tap restore. So let's go ahead and give this a final build and run. And let me open up my console here. I will expand it a smidge. And maybe we wanna go with the monthly because we're not sure what this dating app is gonna be all about. So I'll go ahead and hit continue here and we'll get a print statement here to um, you know, start trial with plan monthly. Let's check it out for yearly. All right, pretty cool, yearly. And then we'll try restoring purchases as well. Of course, we get that as well. So pretty awesome demo here for Paywall. And it's really nice to integrate. 
Uh, I'm going to message this to James anyways, probably on LinkedIn, but one thing that would be really awesome if you publish this as a cocoa pod or a package, and then on top of that, right now we've got um, the monthly and yearly plan here, but if you can customize it with a data source protocol or some way to provide a configuration to this, this would be a very, very uh, popular package for people to use in their applications because A, it looks pretty cool, B, it's nice and simple, and C, it's easy to customize. So um, just food for thought if you are interested in doing that, and maybe I'll cover it again on the channel again if and when you decide to do it. So that is all I've got for you guys today. I will link this repo down below. If you haven't dropped a like, make sure to do so. Comment for the YouTube algorithm. Share the channel. We're almost at 80,000 subs. Let's try to get there as fast as we possibly can. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.